It has been a flurry of activity here in the kitchen since before the show started, getting ready so that we have our own little taste of an event that's coming up on Monday. It's known as a taste of Woolwich, and I can't wait for it. The eighth annual Anna Cantini joins us from Foodlink. Congratulations on the eighth annual, Anna. Hard to believe. It is, isn't it? Yes. Uh, we've had many uh, taste of Woolwiches and hopefully many more to come. Well, when I think about it being the eighth annual, that means that the chef you brought with you was eight years old when the first one <laughs> happened because he's 16 now. This is Colin Ryer, who is at 16 a chef and a chef at the Butterfly Conservatory in Cambridge when he's not going to school. Right, Colin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, we'll talk to you in a little bit. You just keep working away because whatever you're making there smells terrific. But, Anna, let's talk a little bit about Taste of Woolwich. And this is an opportunity, really, for people to not only find out about the food they're eating, but meet the people that are making the food for them. That's right. We'll have about uh, 25 area food producers and local farmers uh, on hand with our marketplace uh, going on, um, I guess, for the duration of the event from 5 to 8 p.m. And then we'll also have uh, four workshops taking place. And one of the really exciting themes this year is um, inspiring young people to grow and cook their own food. Well, and hence having Colin here, and I, I was kind of joking around before Colin, I said, okay, I'm taking this segment home and playing it over and over and over again for my teenagers at home to so show them that, you know, yeah. kids can cook. Where did your passion for cooking come from? Um, curiosity. My mom always dragged me to the grocery store, and so I kind of just started looking around on my own, and then I would see all these ingredients, and I wouldn't know what they were, and so my only option was to cook with them, and then that was probably when I was around nine, and then I just never stopped, and now all I do is read about cooking, cook, and just eat and live food, basically. Well, we're living in a wonderful area to have that food passion because there are so many amazing producers here, things that are grown locally that you can produce. Tell us a little bit about what you've been working away at here, Colin. All right, so in this pan here, I've got uh, buttercup squash puree. So basically, mm -hmm. I roast the squash whole with a bunch of aromatics inside it, uh, such as uh, ginger, lemon, nutmeg, maple, butter, and then I put the I put the top of the squash back on and throw it in the oven for two hours, and then I push it through a sieve so you get a really nice like uh, smooth puree. Then in here, it's just pork chops that I brined in a maple brine for uh, two hours. It was a really aggressive brine, so it didn't need too long. Then I'm just simply uh, basting pan basting them in some butter and some sage and some garlic mm. and then just to provide like an acidic counterpoint I got some fennel and green apple slaw tossed in some uh, Dijon mustard vinaigrette. You've used so many terms that I never use in my kitchen Colin. <laughs> the acidic counterpoint, the, you know, everything that's putting it together. I'm wondering though when you're talking about all these combinations putting things together is this just trial and error for you in developing this passion or um, have you taken courses? No, no. no? I, I don't take well to teaching. <laughs> so I just I try to figure stuff out for myself. I've cooked a lot of really bad food, probably 90% bad food, 10% good food, but that's what you got to do. I don't believe that, but... Oh, I, I cook some pretty <laughs> awful food. But isn't that the way younger. we all learn, right? It's that trial and error, and I think sometimes when it comes to food, we're afraid to do that. Oh, yeah. You know, we would rather open up the box and know what we're getting that's going to sit in front of us instead of trying to recreate it ourselves. And it's a shame, yeah. Anna, because we've got so much amazing food that's right in this area. We do, we do. I just wanted to add, the first time I met Colin, he actually came to Taste Local, Taste Fresh as a youngster with his mom. Um, so just that interest, that early interest in curiosity. And I think you were the successful bidder on uh, peach preserves. Yes, I was. <laughs> and, and then he came back this past year, and he was the, the chef for the Butterfly Conservatory. So certainly come a, a long way in the culinary world in a few short years. Well, and I think that's an inspiration for kids, for teens out there, to, to get them inspired to learn more about their food, to be more hands-on with their food. But really, Anna, I think it's an inspiration for all of us. Absolutely. Because we're in a day and age where it's too easy to go through a drive through to get a meal mm -hmm. instead of doing wonderful food like this and this really hasn't taken you all that long to do Colin, no i actually it? i just got up at like eight this morning and i made the squash puree and basically just got those brining and chopped chopped that and 
I'm not going to tell you what here. my kids were doing at 8 o'clock this morning, okay? <laughs> it wasn't cooking supper for me. No. But, but let's talk a little bit about Taste of Village, how it's going to play out, and, and the venue that it's going to be at, Anna, so yeah, people know where to we've, go. Yeah, uh, we've moved to a new location this year, uh, to Elmira, uh, St. Teresa's Church on Flamingo Drive. Um, so that'll be on Monday, this coming Monday, April 7th, 5 to 8 p.m., uh, as I mentioned, we'll have about 25 area producers on hand, most of whom come from Woolwich. Uh, and then we've got a really exciting lineup of workshops and activities happening as well. Food Link will be on hand with our booth and some special activities. Um, the theme of um, inspiring young people to grow and cook their own food. We have Barb Finn from the um, Port Society. Uh, doing a workshop. Uh, Colin, of course, will be there um, doing... Do you want to talk a little bit about what you'll be doing at uh, Taste Yeah, I got... Uh, well, I got connected with uh, two youngsters, uh, Mac and Colton. They're eight and nine, I believe. And uh, so I, I developed a recipe with them. Well, two recipes. We're doing a potato leek soup and a apple crumble. Wow. So the goal was to do good. something that, like, it's a simple food but it's something that could be made a lot better if people put the time and effort into so you can not only teach kids how to cook but you can teach adults how to cook better so it's a it's a good compromise. It's a win-win co combination when you do that and, and really when you're talking about foods like that and you think wow there's nothing that makes a child feel more proud and wanting to eat that food than to make it themselves right and to be able to point to that and Completely. say I did that there's a pride that goes in there that should be there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Another one of the workshops will be um, local food where we live, learn, and play. I think that's right. <laughs> live, work, and play. Uh, so there'll be, uh, yeah, lots of great ideas, lots of food for thought, and a really great opportunity to get to know the, the food in your own backyard. And this is an event, no tickets required ahead of time. No, it's, uh, it's one of the best, best bargains. Uh, in fact, the event is free. There's a suggested donation of $2. There'll be lots of great food samples, lots of opportunities to connect with area food producers and basically learn about local food, uh, specifically in Woolwich Township. Perfect, and it is all coming up at the 8th Annual Taste of Woolwich, part of the Woolwich Healthy Community events that are going on throughout the entire month, but this by far is my favorite. I'm going to let you finish plating this up, Colin. Yeah. All right? And when we come back, I'll take it over and tease Mark with it and show him the finished product. How's that? Sounds awesome. All right, and we're back with more daytime in just a moment. Stay with us.